Hey, that's right. So Jefferson Parish President Mike Genny doing an exclusive live interview with us right now. So let's get straight to it, uh, Parish President Yenny. Why are you not seeking re-election? I know you just announced this news today. Well, I think it's important for the voters of Jefferson Parish to have a choice. They have two choices. They can focus on the issues at hand, not other political pondering that may go on by other candidates or other people through an election. And they can focus on the real things Jefferson Parish needs. The good news is Jefferson Parish residents that were polled think Jefferson Parish is going in the right direction, over 80 percent of them. Let's talk about the obvious, the texting scandal that rocked the parish, made lots of headlines. Was that a factor in your decision? It, it, I put it in my statement today. Of course it was. I said, you know, I, I apologize back then. I'm at just as contrite now. And of course it was a factor. It was a factor so that I could focus on my family. I have a newborn child coming in, uh, in October. I have two, two little girls right now. And for my wife and I, it was the right decision to make. Were low polls projected polls for you also a factor? Not really, because I think there was a chance I could have made a runoff. I don't know how that runoff would have would have been, but I felt that uh, making a runoff was absolutely a possibility. And here in Metairie right now, we're set to wel welcome a uh, boys baseball team, Parish boys baseball team that did well in a championship over in South Carolina. You're technically banned from Jefferson Parish Public Schools. Do you feel or do you see how some people might find that a little awkward or a little confusing as is why you're able to come onto a recreational property. Well, again, that was, a, in my opinion and in other attorneys' opinions, an unconstitutional uh, law that the school board passed because you can't single out one person as they did, and I think it would be easily contestable. I've never violated my boundaries with anybody, as the law said, and obviously, I, you know, I think people are over it. I think they've moved on as, as my, me and my family have. I know when that, when that decision was made, you offered, though, to be banned as well. I offered to voluntarily stay away, but based on knowing that that ban was coming. So, John, what's next for you? Uh, would you ever, what is next for your career with, within how this scandal well, I, I, happened. Can, I can say that God has opened some tremendous doors for me in my career. I mean, I was a two-term mayor of Kenner. I was Ed Munez's chief administrative officer and a, and a very successful one-term parish president here in Jefferson. We've gotten a lot of things accomplished. Uh, in my tenure as the, as the chairman of the RPC, the Regional Planning Commission, I brought $250 million so, to Jefferson Parish. So I believe I'm going to be able to certainly prove what the record I've done governmentally can certainly help me in the future. So would you ever run again or play a role in any public office that's, again? That's certainly up to God. Is it safe to say a lot, you know, you, you say people forgot about it, but I, I think a lot of people have not forgot about it. Do you feel that you let the parish down with this texting scandal? I, I, I don't know if they, they forgot about it. I think they've moved on from it. And I think that, yes, I do, in, my, in my statements, you could clearly see that I certainly you know, have, have a lot of remorse and regret for a bad decision. But I don't think I've let the parish down because I stayed and I did my job and I probably did it better than anybody that's been before me. Because this has been by far, in my opinion, biased opinion, the best administration that's ever run Jefferson Parish. Do you think if this texting scandal would have never happened, you would be in this position today? Of course not. And if you could say one thing to any, you know, parents, like I said, we're about to, you're about to welcome children onto, you know, that did well in a baseball team here in, or a baseball championship in Metairie. A lot of parents, like you said, may not have forgiven this or moved on from this or will ever move on from this. Um, and like I said, you're banned from schools, Jefferson Parish schools, and you're able to come on recreational property. What would you say to parents that feel you shouldn't be here right now if you could talk to them? I have never violated my boundaries with anybody. It was a text message, plain and simple. That was all it was. It was a mistake. I apologize for it and I've moved on and I, and I, and I would hope they would too. Okay. All right. Well, Parish President, we Thank appreciate you. your time. So again, exclusive interview.